If you're braiding one's easier and parting is the hardest. Guys, welcome back to my channel Shaka Patricia here back with another video if you're new to this channel welcome definitely make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet and you hit that bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I did this crisscross rubber band hairstyle with braids so I did this on myself and the back is knotless but guys this was a mission like this hair I like I started on Sunday and I divided my hair, I blow dried my hair, all that all that jazz on Sunday, ready to do my hair. And then I started to do the rubber band section first. I started to do the rubber band sections first, but the rubber bands that I had did not work out. They kept literally popping. So I used like double rubber band, still didn't work out, and it was just a nightmare. So I ended up having to stop there and go to the hair shop the following day, which was Monday, to get the hairbands and all they had was white. So I was like, I'm going to take white and then she said, oh, we're going to have restock of the black on Wednesday. And I was like, okay, I will come back Wednesday and change if I don't really like the white. Because I was using blonde hair, I was a bit worried that it was not gonna look nice with the white but i ended up loving it and i absolutely really like this white hairbands i feel like it's so different and not many people have used it people some people use colors and stuff but not white so i just like the black would have like just looked like i had a braid which this just it's just it's just different and i loved it the end result i was so happy and i was like i'm definitely not gonna change to black because i'm really happy with the results i have so um yeah i ended up keeping that but another thing guys it was a nightmare and i feel like the most important thing with this hairstyle that you should definitely take in mind is the pattern it's really important how well you do the pattern and me i'm like really bad with the line <laughs> pattern i'm so so why oh, do i have this big man i'm literally so so bad guys with pattern in my hair but i tried the best and it actually doesn't i'm very impressed with myself and how i did this to be honest because i was not expecting the results i got at all like i was not expecting this so yeah i got some help with the pattern at the back i had my little cousin to help me part in the back because there was no way i was gonna be able to do it by myself but anyway i'll show you guys for the video you guys just gonna be able to like see everything that i'm doing and how i did i done it but this is literally the end result no i'm gonna show you the end result at the end of the video just watch how i basically got this thing done now and i'll be right back okay guys so i've blown out my hair so i'm going to do all the parting and stuff and begin by doing the front section and then do the braids itself i literally got the pieces of hair like here because it will just be easier for me to just grab the pieces as i go but for now i'm going to divide the hair first
you can see, I divided the back section. This is the section I'll be braiding. And then these are the front sections. I separated them in five. But yeah, I guess you can do as many as you want. But I have quite a big head. So I thought five would be better than four. Okay, guys, I had some tech technical difficulties with the ones. I had them drenched in oil I had two different ones and I kept putting them on and then they would just all of a sudden start popping so I'm gonna have to go buy some new ones tomorrow so we're gonna carry on this video tomorrow hey guys for this portion of the video I'll be doing a voiceover so it's easier for you guys to see you could see that I just did half of my head and now I'm going to the middle section I'm parting in my hair as straight as I can get because yeah me and lines are extremely bad as you can probably tell I didn't count how many lines I'll be how many squares I'll be having in this line and then I start to making my little squares for the rubber bands and then I do the exact same on the other side. rubber bands guys for the rubber bands you don't actually have to put them very tight because these ones are very strong so depending on which other ones you have but if you have them too tight it will just hurt your scalp so we don't want that so i did have mine uh quite loose and then for the next section we grab the hair that we want to cross over and then we tie the first hair to the second <laughs> square if that makes sense i think you guys get i mean you can see it you have to realize how many lines you actually want to go over i decided for my middle one i would have four lines so it would be like eight crossing over each other but for the side ones i had three and then for the bottom ones close to the ear i had two crossing over four so that's kind of how I managed because my head was a little bit big. But it depends how big of the squares you want and also how uh, many squares you actually want. Because if you make the squares bigger, you'll have a less squares as well. So it's really up to you and how you want your head to look. So it's really optional and what you think will look the best on you. As you can see here, I tightened the rubber band way too much and I didn't like it. So I had to remove and redo it again. So guys, this is a try and error. So if you get it wrong, you just go and do it again. We just don't give up here you know but yeah guys that is literally it and then you just carry on doing the same thing for the rest of your head but i'll show you guys a couple more videos enjoy <music> As you know, I had to stop yesterday because of the elastic bands that they kept breaking. So I had to get these ones. These are the ones I got from um, the hair shop. They didn't have black ones, so I had to get white ones. And my battery is about to die, but this is what I've done so far. The lines are not perfect. I'm not the best with lines at all. Looking in the mirror and getting the lines is just not me. But I tried my best. I don't think they look horrible. They look okay. But you can tell they were not done professionally. But that's okay. I'm going to get the next two done off camera. And then I'll be right back. Actually, no, I'll get it on camera. I'm just going to change the batteries. <laughs>
Okay guys, so I got some help to separate this here and I braided everything so now I have all the sections separated easy to start braiding so I'm gonna try the first one off camera and then I'll be right back for the braiding section I did not record a deep back because there was just no point because you guys would not be able to see anything but I'm gonna show you guys here at the front which is easier and it's easier to also get it on camera and also see what I'm doing so you start by braiding your actual hair and then you go ahead and you add a section so you braid twice and then you add a section of hair you braid twice more and then you add another section of hair and then you keep on going so you basically carry on braiding until your actual hair is finishing and then there i add another section of hair so really and truly you just go through the thickness of the hair you see the braid whether it's the thickness you want if it is you don't add hair if it's not if it starts to getting thinner that's when you basically add hair that's how i put it in my brain if that makes sense but yeah the brown i usually put it when my hair is finishing so i can carry on a little bit more of the brown look uh further than incorporating with a deep blonde I'll be just showing you guys a little bit closer again and how you can do the hair. So you braid twice your own hair and then you add a section of hair. You braid it again twice and then you add another section of hair. Here I'm adding a bit of brown just because my actual hair is very thin in this section. It's a small section. So I'm adding a little bit extra brown. So I'm adding again twice and then I am circulating with another brown piece and then so on so there'll be more hair in certain sections because the hair is thinner so you're trying to get the thickness you want as quickly as you can so you keep on adding i hope that makes sense just watching i think you'll be able to understand more watching it than, than me explaining it my braiding skills look so good here wow i'm so impressed oh my god wow but anyway guys this is what i was trying to explain to you earlier so this is what you do once your hair is ending you can add a little bit of edge control to the end of your hair so it doesn't stick out and then you add the sections another another piece of hair to the ending of your hair if that makes sense so it's like in replacement of your own hair you add the edge control to make sure it sticks together and it doesn't poke out and then you add another section i hope that is very clear this this is the mousse I've got so I'm just gonna
guys, I realised I didn't do an outro for this video, so here I am on Sunday, a few days later. Uh, basically a whole week later, ending this video. It's been, it took me a whole week to do this hair, like, okay, it didn't. I, it took me two days to do the hair, so I did it on, I started on Monday. And then Monday evening, and then carried on on Tuesday evening, so I finished Tuesday night. And yeah, so basically it took me estimately around eight to nine hours. I mean, I did this on myself and they are pretty long. So it did take me a minute, especially to get the technique and to actually have the hair looking how I wanted at the back and have it tight and all sorts. But it looks really cute. I'm actually in love with this hairstyle. I think it suits me really well. I was quite concerned with the elastic bands being white, but I'm literally loving it like i love being white I feel, I feel like it's so different and i just really like i want to remove this hair and do it again soon you know like i just really really enjoyed this hairstyle and uh, yeah so this video took me uh to do the hair took me about eight hours so the whole video is a bit all over the place and i'm trying because i'm recording this because i'm recording different days so the video is all over the place and it's like the lighting is a bit different so i'm sorry about that i mean i'm sure you've seen it throughout it but one thing i have to say is just make sure you have the best elastic bands you can have because that was kind of a mess and if you don't have good ones then that becomes a bit tricky also focus along lines if you see for the video me patting my hair was it was worse than anything. Braiding was easier and parting is the hardest. Because you actually want the patterns to look pretty good, it becomes very hard if that makes sense. And sometimes you can't see, you pick in different hairs. I mean, you see from the video how messed up it can be. But it, the end result looks really good. I'm very proud of myself, not gonna lie. I was not expecting this. And I wanna keep this hair for quite a while because I'm loving it like I'm actually loving the hairstyle so I'm gonna keep it for quite long I think it really suits me so yeah guys if you do try to do this hair um, the color I used the blonde was color 27 the brown I'm not sure which color it was but um, yeah I guess you just get like a brown tone mixing with the blonde so you can get like even colors and to blend a little bit with your own hair my hair has grown so much but I just love the black and blonde mix absolutely love the look and yeah so I think that's all I wanted to say for this video if you watch all the way here therefore make sure you give me a thumbs up definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet also make sure you follow me on my socials Instagram TikTok I'm starting to I want to now jump on TikTok a little bit more and um instagram i'm always there so definitely just go and follow me on my socials and be active with me besides youtube you know i'm here for good i'm gonna stay for a very long time now and i'm loving this new patricia and yes more content is gonna be coming on youtube all the time that we have to keep this energy guys gotta keep this energy but anyway thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys on my next video bye